is Purnima Kanan. She is from India, yeah. right? And, and you are a physicist, but you are also the consultant's work on communications yeah. as well. Yeah. And she's going to talk about uh, hacking for humanity. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Yeah. 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 This is my first public talk, and I'm nervous. <laughs> so just wanted to share my journey with uh, random bits of kindness. So actually, I'm mother of uh, three kids. My eldest one is 24. I took a break. Uh, I did my MSc, and I took a break for almost 12 years or so, then got back on track. I do freelance PR for uh, a theatre group which works on sustainability for random acts of kindness and uh, I have been a media coordinator for a tree festival for three consecutive years. This is what basically I do, basically. And I wanted to share my journey on with um, random acts of kindness. So my passion is uh, going on nature trails my, and my uh, interest is on bees, butterflies and trees. So uh, on one of the butterfly trails, I uh, met Shinmai, one of the uh, Arachoke, uh, one who's actively involved in Arachoke now. So uh, she is. Uh, she went on to become uh, one of the global trustee uh, members of Arachoke. She participated in a hackathon, started with a um, as a participant, and now she's heading the Arachoke. So. Uh, I was basically interested in the issues which they touched upon. Basically, hackathon is not just technical. We do, what we do is it's a global community of uh, makers and hackers who um, give uh, open source solutions for uh, social good. So, uh, this is Chinmay's uh, this one in India. We ha uh, she developed this app called uh, Bachao app, which uh, where the mobile was used to uh, record evidence because without evidence you can't re uh, um, what do you call it? file a case so this went on to be a uh, huge I mean this had a huge uh, usage many users used it because of the uh, rape one uh, rape case which followed it and then uh, now she's heading the Bachao project uh, which provides open source solutions for uh, gender. Basically, we had uh, last year we had a uh, hackathon based on uh, gender violence against uh, women with uh, the U.S. consulate in Calcutta. Uh, we uh, work with civic organizations. Um, who, because basically we feel that there are a lot of people who are working in pockets and we provided a platform where they could come and share ideas. So uh, um, uh, a group called Durka came and shared uh, their experience <coughs> on bystander in intervention. Bystander intervention is, suppose you see a person, a woman being uh, ragged or you know being missing how can a bystander as an outsider go and diffuse the situation in a peaceful way in a nice way then we touched upon there was a uh, organization which worked on garbage uh, till this day we didn't know that burning garbage uh, increased the air pollution those were some of the le learnings which we shared in that citizen reading then uh, um, biodiversity uh, a civic organization uh, to, uh, talked about how to use uh, a frog app to record or to identify frogs. So, recording the biodiversity or um, you know the citizens to observe nature around them is a very important thing. So, they notice that some species is dying or some spe some new species could be discovered also. So, and. Yeah, disability, we have done some solutions on uh, accessibility. One of the hackathons, we uh, uh, developed a solution where uh, a visually impaired can uh, will know which bus is coming to the bus stop. So 
this uh, prototype was created in two days, a team of four worked on it and we accelerated this, uh, Twitter supported this project. Urbanization, uh, there was one community uh, in Indranagar where, which opposed um, rapid commercialization in their district because most of the residential buildings were being converted to uh, commercial pubs and bars and a lot of noise in the neighborhood and too much of parking issues and things like that. So they went on to file a case and they shared their learning so that the other areas would benefit from that. So the basic uh, idea of uh, conducting a citizenry day was to share instead of learning from the scratch. If we share our learnings, we grow faster. Air pollution, one person, uh, one person uh, Mr. Tejesh, he uh, learned, he taught us how to build an uh, air pollution monitor from the scratch using uh, cheap hardware. So till then, otherwise we uh, await for uh, data from UNICEF or you know we wait for uh, data to come in from an organization. So if you monitor it by yourself, you know how bad or you know the air pollution levels. So the main story of Arishoke is it was started as a, in a crisis camp in 2009, where the employees of Google, Microsoft, Yahoo, and World Bank came together to build solutions because NASA had a lot of data and they didn't know what to do. So the first uh, outcome was during the uh, disaster management during the Haiti earthquake in 2010. And uh, what would have taken uh, three weeks to aggregate uh, the Twitter feeds uh, with the help of one solution, they could do it in a day. So we did this uh, program with uh, 25 children from uh, lower middle, uh, lower class uh, students in India. So 25 girls, they, uh, what we did was we improved their, we worked with them for seven days. We taught them social media, uh, social skills uh, like team building and analyzing the root cause of the problem. So uh, these people, these girls is, lived in slums. So with the help of uh, open street maps, they marked the issues like water, sewage, garbage, and things like that, and uh, to identify what was the root cause of the problem, and to find solutions. So um, at the end of seven days, they were able to work in a team and uh, present their learnings on a website using Thimble. So that was something really great where uh, Target supported us on this program, and it was a uh, huge learning for them because they, especially this age around 12 to 15 is a very impressionable age where they just go into a shell and they don't open up. So these are some of the uh, drawings which the girls did during the program. This is about uh, overcrowding in cities. They use a fishbowl diagram to find the root cause. And at the end of seven days, they were confident and uh, it was really see, uh, great to see how a program like this could ignite sparks in these girls and how confident they were to uh, tackle, you know, more it is, you know, feeling more self-confident and self-reliant that they could uh, bring a change in their own communities. So they built a water filter out of uh, whatever was available, I mean, a simple water filter, and uh, yeah. So, I in the beginning I showed you the bee and the butterfly, right? So, uh, RHP, one of the uh, outcomes was uh, to find, uh, to monitor hives. You know that uh, bees are rapidly declining and bee collapse disorder is happening, right? So bee colony collapse. So this is one of the apps that has been created to monitor the hives. Otherwise, um, the conventional method, we lose about 5% of the bees. So this is a better way where 
we do it without mm. minimum in damage to the hives then we do have uh, another i mean there are numerous uh, apps or this one which makes life better this an uh, app developed by uh, the belgium team which reminds the hiv and a, uh, tb patients to get their um, appointments to get their medicines or their checkups done on time because as you know that uh, medicines if they are not taken in time tb uh, virus becomes more resilient and it might be incurable so this is an appointment reminder it's one of the latest hacks so advantages of civic hacking are it creates space for innovations because um, people from different capacities come and hack together it makes more sense creativity comes out and then it engages digital citizens to get involved in government government policies then creates a broad network of civic hackers to for social good and then uh, in a company you find that uh, i mean i'm not telling you won't get creative solutions if you mix with different people from different uh, uh, um, backgrounds the creativity is faster so, uh, and is cheaper hackathons that's it so we have uh, our presence in australia india south africa canada usa and uk so we would like to have um, communities working in southeast asia as well so if you are interested you can get in touch with me or you can send a mail to the address that that's it thank you any questions yes um in each of those countries do you have a team we have teams Okay, yeah. so if we wanted to go to another country in Southeast Asia, what would be the uh, expectation on the launch? Expectation is you have to take ownership, conduct, you know, um, first what we do is we uh, uh, partner with an NGO, so instead of just arbitrarily calling people to come, let's do a hackathon. First we work with an NGO, get a problem statement, then uh, see who, which sub subject matter experts can solve the problem. bring them to the uh, platform it's like a we provide a platform for the subject matter experts and the ngos to have a conversation and uh, form a prototype first and at the end of um, two days after the prototype is done we have um, we bring in corporates to take it for action yeah so is it like funded by the corporations I mean, uh, once the no, each time it's different. Okay, it's like each time. Suppose Microsoft is interested in accessibility, mm -hmm. so they will be interested. We'll tell them in advance that hey, this is happening. Would you want to? Uh, okay, so so you just go for finding the sponsors and then yeah, it's, it's like, it's like a, yeah, yeah, yes. Hi. You can ask a question. How much does it cost? Hackathons uh, don't cost anything. It's only the prototype when we accelerate. that is when corporates come in it's just zero budget to conduct hackathon so we basically uh, i conducted a hackathon in bangalore where a venue was provided by uh, somebody a friend food was provided by another friend who runs a restaurant and uh, the venue had internet access for two days for social good they do it for free yeah. so once the prototype is formed we try to Uh, correct with the sponsors and I mean the corporate sent. <coughs> What was your email again? I for people to email you to help. Yeah, I'll give you my card. Great. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. So you talk a little bit more about the random acts of kindness, the the foundation. Uh, I heard about it, but I don't know much about it. Yeah. So more information is uh, that's what I said. I mean, this is how much I know. So you can get in touch with to get more details. So it's like anybody can take ownership and you know if you have a problem to solve, you can just take it up and say, hey, this issue I think I I think we need to bring uh, 
you know, solve this issue? Is it possible to have a tech solution? Come with me. Yes? Speaking on an entirely chaos question, but I mean, the thing you shape is like, it's in measure of motion, like biological activity. Yeah. So the data about my main question is the import, you know, basically just. So it's not like, it's just difficult to solve issues. Issues are complex and they are related to each other. So at least sensitizing people and parents that, you know, okay, you know, you can take a step, one step at a time. If you can solve, you know, air pollution is happening, okay, you know. I am aware that it is bad, air in my area is bad. You can do at least uh, alert you, you and your neighbors to say, you know, oh God, you know, we should do something about it. It's participation. Yeah. Making more citizens aware. Do you have a catalog of all the hackathons that has that's happened so far and uh, so that we can look at historically what kind yeah, of yeah. things we have. We have that. We have. Yeah. And also the, I mean, I, I run many hackathons in Singapore as well, so then I do have a lot of exciting. Exactly what is your, how do you bring people, so you identify the problem? I think you must identify a problem. So how and do you identify, do you, someone? No, we have, basically, people? we have, uh, you know, broad uh, this thing that we know. people. Yeah. yeah. And then what is the expectation that you will be able to solve something within a short period? We try to solve, but we don't promise that, you know, it's not possible, it's not uh, in our hands to, if we solve it, we can have. Thank you for being such a nice audience.